to my living hope you had a great past two weeks or three weeks and I hope everything's been going good the weather's been perfect here had a couple thunderstorms the last couple of nights but beautiful thunderstorms those are the best ones uh, but it, this episode today is to be uh, part of the crabbing like I mentioned to you uh, in the previous episode we will go to crabbing without a doubt crabbing season started now and what we're gonna do also is work on the pool. The pool is disgusting. The pump went without the water running and moving with the pump and filter running. Pool hit the pits, man. Only three days, three days. And I'll show you what it's done to my pool. We're also gonna do uh, a little tour of the, the uh, garden because it's starting to grow. Everything's starting to grow, yeah. Vegetable season, because I'm so healthy. Yeah, I'm healthy. Yeah, right. Uh, but I do have uh, news on my surgery. I am getting my surgery. It's August 16th now. <laughs> so I'm excited for it. I'm not excited for the uh, rehab part of it, but at least I'll be out of my pain. I'm in daily, and uh, I hope it goes well. If it doesn't, you know where I'll be. All right, but also uh, we're gonna take you crabbing this 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 episode also. So I'm gonna show you how my crab nets look, where I get them from, and then where I head to to do crabbing. Now with the crabbing, as I mentioned, you have to get chicken legs and things like that. But bait, why crabs like chicken legs? I have no idea. So maybe because when you eat tuna, it's chicken of the sea. Maybe crabs should be chicken of the sea because the crabs are eating the chicken the tuna is not chicken but they say tuna is a chicken of the sea <coughs> what do i know oh god sir all right okay also uh don't forget to ring uh that notif no not the notification bell because some people are having a hard time with that notification bell but what i will do in the next episode is do a little run through on how to get into my YouTube channel, which a lot of you have, and my subscriptions are really building up. Come on, give me some more subscriptions, people. Let's go. So I'm gonna do a, <laughs> a little uh, uh, tutorial. A tutorial. I'll be a teacher today. Instead of like Jesus, a, a carpenter. Today I'll be a teacher. Actually, not today. It'll be the next episode. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll do a little tutorial on how to. Get to my YouTube channel <laughs> and then uh, I show you how to do the check you know you check area subscription area to press it because it could make me very happy in the future and I'll show you with that notification bell I actually think I gave you guys instructions about it don't ever take instructions from me or directions because I don't, I don't. I wasn't even close. But anyway, I'll show you where all that is. It'd be easy when I'm in a tutorial because I'm always talking to myself anyway. So it'd be easy for me just to tell you where it is. All right. So uh, let's go to the pool. <laughs> Bad news. The pump went. Had a lot of rain the last three days. Nobody has pumps. And I'm finding a pump. We got delivered. Yeah, they got delivered. It was broken. And then I went to a uh, store up here in Bethpage. And uh, they had the, a good pump. USA made, baby. We're going to USA stuff there. Only made in America. So we got the new pump. And hopefully get rid of this green uh, stuff. Because uh, got to get in that pool and start relaxing and chilling. So let me show you the new pump. Hold on. Okay, here's a new pump, and it's very similar to the old one, which I was lucky because it matched up perfectly with the PVC piping that we have running into the pool. This is the filter system. Here's the pump. 
So it says prior to starting. Fill tank with water before starting. Okay, so I filled it up. Got the power cord connected. Alright, have everything set up. Fire in the hole. Water comes out right away. Let's go over here. So far no water coming in, but that may take a couple of seconds. Here it goes. Water's starting to come in. Looks like it's Irish green water. <laughs> so far no leaks. Right there. They say that's to be expected. Because when you're first starting it, water's all the way. And it looks like we got it. <clears throat> Alright, so we got some green out. What I'll do is put it around the pole. I got two bags. Two bags. Let's see these two bays working up to clear it. And then I'll have, uh, we'll have to put some uh, chlorine and some stabilizer in there. Uh, to stabilize the water. I don't know. It says stabilizer. I don't know what it's stabilizing. pH, chlorine, stabilizing me when I'm obliviated. <laughs> Who knows? All right, so let me stop putting this uh, in the pool. Da, 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 na, 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 na. Da, da, da. And I let the motor run uh, overnight for about 12 hours. Actually, this has been the second day, no, third day of treatment. First two days didn't work out. What happened was, <laughs> I bought a new filter, but I didn't want to put it into the system yet because I'm cheap. I got no money. I got no gas in there anymore. I got nothing. So I decided to be cheap and try to save that filter. But wife came home and said, did you put the new filter in? I said, yeah, sure. She says, no, you didn't. I'll pause. I'll pause. But anyway, let me show you what uh, how the pool looks this morning. Oh, jeez. Oh. Uh, they leave everything out. All right. So anyway, here's the bar. The bar is getting a lot of work out of it. You can see the, the people have been drinking. All right, the bar's getting a lot of use. I have some uh, issues with the bar. And I'm not sure if you can see the issues, but I'll just talk about them in another episode. But by the way, we bought these little palm trees. It just reminds me of Florida. I got them all over here. Kind of a nine bucks, not bad. All right, so here's the pool. Bravo! Oh, bravo! Uh -huh. near the bar. So what do you think so far, huh? Sitting at the bar. Waiting for the bartender to bring me a drink. Hey bartender, bring me a drink. <laughs> it's like in the it's like in the real world. Nobody listens to me can hear me. But anyway, this is this is where I'm sitting at the bar here, but it's like the pool, right? Pool looks pretty good for uh, me taking care of it. A guy who doesn't know nothing. Don't know nothing about pools. I take care of pools. I don't know nothing about bars. Hey, I was like Jesus, like I told you. I built bars. Meanwhile, I used to take body parts out of bodies. 
And now I can do all these beautiful things. Not really. I can't do nothing. <laughs> you think I did all this stuff? <laughs> Forget about it. But anyway, let me take you over to the um, the garden. And I just want to show you how uh, the vegetables are doing all right. You know, they're coming up. But uh, let's go and take a look. All right, so we're in the garden here. And I just want to show you how the tomatoes are doing. They're doing pretty good. Uh, got some red ones. We put some yesterday for the uh, for the salad. And the peppers are coming up really good, which are right here. A jalapeno. <laughs> really good but I also have a plant over here oops watch your step you can't walk these days from here I got I've adopted this plant that my sister gave me well my sister gave it to me my mother did well my mother's not home right now she's uh she's in a wheelchair and she flew off the bridge I don't know how that happened but right now she's recovering from falling off the bridge timber into the into the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> but anyway, since she's not unable to. <laughs> yeah, but on. Uh, we just know she can't take care of it, so my sister asked me to adopt it. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna eat all her tomatoes. Because I like tomatoes. Alright, here's the squash and zucchini. Looking good. And over here, got some zucchinis over here. Starting to grow, looks like. We got a couple over here. The little ones. Got some weeds over here. So I'm gonna have to have uh, Mr. Dick Hertz uh, come and fix it up. This tomato plant came out of nowhere, came out of the pot on its own. So we call it a hybrid. And here's uh, our herb garden. Uh, now it's legal in New York. I'm not gonna say what's in there, but it's legal now. And then these tomato plants here, this used to be my mulch pile that my wife has done a wonderful job on. But these tomato plants have come up all on their own. And man, they're healthier than my tomato plants. But my tomato plants were in the pots. But, oh, and here's the mullions. We got one over here, one over here, a couple over there. A little jalapeno. <laughs> Regular belt peppers, the tomatoes, and then uh, let me show you something else that came in the other day. Hold on. So this here is the wood. Like I mentioned to you uh, not too long ago, I'm gonna, I, we have a wood burning stove, so I usually get a lot of wood. I'm gonna get more wood this year. Reason why is <gasps> look who's here. Boricua. Boricua. Yeah. Alright. So Boricua is here. Back to the wood. Back to the wood. So I got two cords delivered the other day. Why am I backwards? I have no idea. Let me just switch. So here's the wood. I got two cords. I got another cord coming. And uh, it looks like Boricua wants to get into the into the action over here. So Boricua wants to hang out with me today. She's getting old. Right? She's getting a little lonely. Right, Boricua? Hmm? What are you doing, Chibi? Boricua, come on. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Gold loves peanut butter. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But by the way, look, my daughter made me these uh, birdhouses, and it's funny I bet she makes these birdhouses. She does a hell of a job. I think she gets it from my father. God rest his soul. He was an amazing architect, but he was a postal worker all his life. But who knew he had architectural skills? Nobody. But he used to make them all the time. We used to tell him, hey, make money. And now my daughter's making them, see? She's making them on her own. I have them all over the yard. Hey, if anybody's interested in buying a birdhouse, keep a comment below. I'll, 
I'll have her make one, and uh, you can send her a donation or whatever. All right, but for now, what we're gonna do next is uh, we're gonna get a cup of coffee, and then we're gonna start packing up and getting ready to go crabbing. Crabbing season, baby. So what I got to do is first is go get, go get the coffee, go and get the chicken wings, and then start heading down to the water. It's a little breezy today, so we'll take a ride down to the water, see if the water's choppy. If not, we'll do some crabbing. All right, so come on. Whew. Hot as balls in here. <sighs> oh, wrong way. Oh, it's heat coming out. Holy. <laughs> Frank, just open the damn windows. Oh, thank you. So hot out. Now let's go and get a hot cup of coffee. Son of a bitch! So in here is my crab nets, and I was gonna start doing some crab today, but we'll have to do it on the next episode because I don't want to make these episodes too long where people get bored. Now I don't know if you're bored already, but I don't give a shit because I'm still having fun. All right, but I'll show you uh, how the crab nets work on the next episode, and we'll do some crabbing. And I gotta time it right with Mr. Dick Hurts because he's the one that pulls the crabs out, and that's out because I can't pull that. All right, so we'll catch you the next episode. And as always, thank you for watching. God bless and ciao, ciao. Take care.